Are you Richie from Brady. Boston? Your accent. Hey, where's your name? Yeah, I don't have a Boston accent. I'm, I play football in Boston. I'm sorry, man. I can't it. understand the words you're saying. And what I am showing you is an image of the firmament. The flat earth, the dome, the thing that was stretched out in heaven, the thing that's mentioned in the Bible numerous times. Hey, look at me. I'm a Christian. I'm reading the Bible. And it goes on and on and on and on. And it's right there. It's right there directly in front of everybody. Yet so many people don't want to believe this. What the hell is wrong with you people? If you keep looking and keep looking and keep looking at the stars, looking at the sun, looking at the moon like I have and like I do, you really start to come to the conclusion that everything that, that's above us isn't what we've been told whatsoever at all. For instance, why is it that when you're standing in front of the ocean, the ocean looks greenish, but when you look at it from an airplane or from a drone or a balloon, the ocean is blue? Plankton! It turns out in 1990, an Italian geologist, see, all these good guys are Italian like myself. Hey! named Angelo Patono, was visiting Sierra Leone in the vicinity of the border of Guinea Conakry to verify if a certain region of the country known as Kono was indeed rich deposit of diamonds. So you see, blah, 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 on and on they go. And then they go on to the story where they found this. And this is called the Sky Stone. Now, this is insane. I am almost positive, and I think they are too, they just don't want to say it, that this thing is a literal piece of the firmament. Uh, no. Quiet, son, this is embarrassing enough already. This rock is made up of 77.17%. Notice the three sevens. 77.17% oxygen. And when they crushed this up to put it underneath the microscope, they could no longer see it. It lost its color. This is a real thing. This is an absolutely real thing. All information I can find in the Sky Stone seems to be parroting word for word a 2014 WordPress blog post about the object. The blog, which appears to be written by an unknown third party, discusses the supposed history of the stone. Although the blog name drops real people, it does not provide any links to any of the reported analysis done on the Sky Stone. As such, none of the Sky Stone's story can be verified. This is a real thing. This is an absolutely real thing. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. After returning to, to Europe, Petoni took the blue stone to the Institute of Natural blah blah blah. To his surprise, tests showed that stone was not turquoise. It wasn't even officially cataloged. The blue stone he had discovered not only does not con correspond to any known mi mineral, but the same material was also, also recently located in Morocco. Do you see what's going on? The sky is falling. How's that? And they literally have imagery of it. All over the place. It's Richie from Boston. What were you thinking? Why would you put your town safety in jeopardy? How could you mistake a stop sign for an acorn? After searching around on the internets, internet. For more information on the Sky Stone, I looked up Anna Grayson, the geologist who supposedly found a Sky Stone in Morocco. This led me to an apparent interview with her discussing the stone, where she states that after analysis and a scholarly search, she discovered that it was, in fact, a mineral called Aronite. Case closed, right? The problem here is Aronite is not a blue gemstone. It is a clastic sandstone. Either these are two very different rocks that share a name, or the article is wrong. I guess I'll keep on searching. This is the stone itself right here. And it's pretty amazing. It was found with all sorts of artifacts. And again... They tested this thing to 3,000 degrees Celsius, yet its composition wouldn't alter. It was made out of 77.1% pure, 
pure oxygen, and the remaining was carbon, calcium, and another unknown element. Here are the only two analysis images of the Sky Stone. As you can see, someone in Italy apparently conducted quantitative XRD on the stone and supposedly produced these results. I don't know where this unknown element idea comes from, but it's not from this data. Again, I would like to point out these images are not sourced. You are just going to have to believe that they are not only legitimate, but are also from analysis done on the Sky Stone. As for what the data suggests, it appears to be a mineral with a lot of oxygen. That's it. As for not being able to be identified, this is most likely due to not having a proper standard for comparison and calibration. Since zero actual information is given to us, all we can do is speculate as to what analysis was actually done. They were eventually able to locate an organic compound that is currently unknown to science, dated at 55,000 years old. That doesn't really do very much for me. The organic compound idea originates as a proposed explanation of the color, given the apparent lack of metals in the sky stone. But it being an unknown compound is a completely unfounded claim. The age appears to come from what layer of soil the sky stone was supposedly found in. Again, no sources are given for either claim. Amazingly, it seems that the sky stone is not unique. There has been, in fact, similar finds in other places on the Earth, most notably Brazil. The other sample of sky stone was submitted to GRS Swiss Labs for testing and the analysis by an anonymous dealer. Intrigued artist, artist, American artist and designer Jared Collins tried to buy the small cutaway, but the dealer refused to sell it. He wouldn't even name a price for a larger full stone. So these guys have literally found these stones all over the world. I find it very telling that the majority of the supposed history of the Sky Stone is told by a gem merchant. That, and of course, Angelo Pitoni, a botanist, geologist, gemstone expert, special forces operative, and professor. I don't know if I would qualify those two as reliable. This is no ordinary lamp. It once changed the course of a young man's life. And look at it. It's exactly, exactly the same color as the sky. It's made out of the same color. It's made out of the same elements that we literally breathe. This is, in my opinion, the firmament. So this is a piece of the firmament because it's blue and made of oxygen. Does that mean the firmament could also be made out of Cookie Monster? He's blue, and there's probably a lot of oxygen in him. They gotta be blue! This is what's all around us. That is a small piece of the firmament. I can't stress it anymore. This is a real thing. This really did happen, and I've never heard of it in my entire life. 77.17% oxygen, and then one unknown element. They can't break it, they can't burn it, they can't bend it, and they can't explain it, and they're not selling it. So what is the Sky Stone? I've seen a lot of talk on the internets. Internet. Saying that it is lapis lazuli. Personally, I think it looks more like Haunik. To be honest, there is no way to tell because everything about the stone is completely unsourced or pure speculation. The best takeaway, however, is that you can now say with complete seriousness that flat earthers are screaming that the sky, sky is, is falling. falling. The sky is falling? Are you crazy? No, 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 it's true. Come with me. 